My name is Rolf Hauge. I'm the CEO of CBA, we are a software house headed in Norway. I've uh, been working on the international banking market for 35 years. Uh, we have implemented our systems in 22 countries, uh, 65 international banks, and we have a long history of development of modern automated banking system based on the Scandinavian model. It has been very important for us to, uh, to uh, make a global system with a single source code where all our banks can run the same uh, source code, uh, same system at the same release, uh, which then um, uh, high, uh, put high demands on our development and how the system is uh, structured and uh, defined. Uh, we have managed that and we have tested out this in uh, real time with the ABN Amrabank in, in the Netherlands, which runs our systems uh, in 10 countries. And we have uh, the same system running in other countries like, like OCBC Bank in Singapore, the same source code. Uh, to enable that, you have to be very, have a very uh, flexible system, adaptable and scalable system, and you also need to deliver all the uh, tools for the, each bank to customize the systems according to their special needs uh, on product, pricing, business rules, etc., etc. Um, which we have uh, tested out in, uh, during many years, how to do this. On the other side, if you can manage to have one source code globally, uh, upgrades of new releases will be much easier. And uh, uh, all our customers have a contract with us, man, uh, man, uh, maintenance and support uh, agreement, where this is mandatory to upgrade. And we can, we can run upgrades very easily because we have one source code. <coughs> and the way we have organized the system structure we can take care of all the customization made by each bank and not destroying any investment they have done. So our system will look for the investment, look for the speciality first, and if they're not special, then they use our standard. And in this way, we can implement a new release uh, uh, very often, even every month if needed. And it can be done more or less automatically uh, with automatic testing system on top of that. When we developed our new uh, latest system uh, after 2000, we, we thought we should uh, be able to build objects, uh, really build objects as many of the other vendors also have been on their schedule on them, for them. Uh, we started to build objects on the lowest level, uh, hundreds and maybe thousands of objects, and we build object blocks, for example, a payment for engine, a payment engine, uh, one of the requirements there, there was that this payment engine should be able to handle any payment in the world with pricing involved, with uh, creating messages to the other parties like MT103, 202 cover, etc. And also to be very easily integrated to different clearing systems coming up. Uh, for example, also now with the SEPA instant payment, with the ABR clearing there, it was quite easy for us to implement that. So we have been building objects uh, as a generic objects uh, for all the product solutions in a bank. And then we have put them together uh, so it could be used for payments, trade finance, loans, forex money market, etc., etc. So that is the situation. It's, it's only one object for each item that the bank is working on lowest level. Keeping, uh, keeping this on, uh, for us it's very uh, easy to do the further development because we have the objects. We can develop one object, then it will maybe be used 20,000 times. And that makes us, uh, it much easier for us to do the development, testing and implementation in the banks. I think this is the way a uh, modern system will be in the future. Very object oriented, uh, very flexible uh, and adaptable for each bank, but Having one source code globally is, is quite uh, important, I think, if you look about the cost for the banks uh, to upgrade new releases, as we have seen in many occasions, that uh, it is very costly to upgrade old systems, uh, which is not the situation with our banks.